Republican congressional committee is looking for ways to boost youth support of its programs. And according to The Atlantic on April 4th, 2013, it's found a solution. The Republicans are going to change their site to emulate another site, BuzzFeed. And The Atlantic also notes this means there's going to be more gifts, cat pictures, and memes to help support the Republican Party. <laughs> Unfortunately, Democrats simply aren't doing as well. In fact, Bloomberg noted of four hours ago that Democrats are receiving far less funding than Republicans because, following the 2012 successful presidential elections, funders just don't see a need to continue pouring money into Democratic coffers. The result that currently, the 2014 midterm elections for Democrats look increasingly weak. Because of this, President Barack Obama has taken more of a hardline stance towards supporting 2014 midterm prospects for the Democratic Party. However, Many people have questioned whether or not that's actually distracting him from pushing forward his main policy goals. And because the issue of domestic policy should concern us all, since it concerns government spending, taxation, and even social policy, it's imperative to answer today's question. Will President Obama's bid to boost Democrats' 2014 midterm prospects keep him from achieving his policy goals? And, unfortunately, the answer is a clear yes, for three clear reasons. First because he's diverting resources away from actually pushing politics towards the 2014 elections. Second, because he's focusing on support and thus not actually agreeing on budgetary talks. And finally, because his ideological stances on social issues are driving away Republicans from compromise. So first, it's important to look at, take a look at the idea that even actual advice Mallard would tell President Obama that he's shifting far too many resources towards the 2014 elections. And according to Business Week on March 18th, 2013, President Obama is currently focusing on diverting lobbyists' attention away from influencing congressional politics now towards the 2014 elections and garnering support in local communities. And because of that, he's shifting massive amounts of monetary resources away from affecting moderate congressional debaters' actual beliefs and focusing on voters' beliefs. This is a problem since The Economist notes as of Saturday that Republicans are actually heavily increasing their funding for the 2014 elections while simultaneously focusing on congressional debate. For example, the National Rifle Association is pumping up its spending in congressional legislatures to help remove gun control debate from the table. Because of this, President Barack Obama is investing resources and time in the 2014 elections and diverting lobbyists' resources from influencing moderate politicians' policies and thus diverting these resources towards the election, which in turn makes it far harder for him to win on any major issues in these political disputes. This in turn has a major ability on its actual effect on having his policy because in the end, Obama needs to push forward these policies and use lobbyists to convince moderates to vote for his policies. After all, the House is controlled primarily by Republicans, whereas the Senate is controlled by Democrats, meaning that Obama needs to focus more on the House than the Senate. That's why the Brookings Institute notes on March 18, 2013, that a lack of compromise and a lack of resources in the, politic in the political sphere instead of the election sphere is actually harming the overall prospects of the 2014 election and politics currently. But in addition, it's important to realize that even scumbag college liberal and scumbag college conservative would agree on more than Republicans and Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> and when we turn towards the budgetary debates, it's clear that Republicans and Democrats aren't agreeing enough. The Christian Science Monitor of March 19th, 2013, notes that Republicans and Democrats during recent dinner meetings failed to come up with any compromise. But the reason for this, according to the Cato Institute of March 17th, 2013, is that Obama is actually being convinced by funders for democratic elections that he needs to take a stronger stance on these issues. So because these funders for 2014 midterm elections are actually influencing Obama's stance on ideology, he's agreeing far and far less with the Republicans in terms of the budget. That's why Gallup notes on March 5th, 2013, that because of his inability to actually solve the sequester, President Barack Obama's approval rating went from 51% to 49% with the result that Obama's overall support for his policies is going to go down as well. So what we see here is that funders for the 2014 midterm elections and Democrats are actually going to convince Obama's policy to focus more on the elections and not as much on domestic politics. And because of that, he's lacked compromise, which actually compounded the effect because voters see less and less of a reason to support Obama and have less approval ratings for him. This means that Obama is actually receiving less and less support in these budgetary disputes and is actually ending up harming the overall economy. In fact, the Center for, Bul for Budget and Policy Priorities noted on April 1st, 2013, that one of the major focuses of President Barack Obama's second-term politics was actually compromising the budget and solving it. But 
since he didn't actually solve it because of its stance on the 2014 elections, it's clear that he hasn't had success. But third, it's important to realize that even Grumpy Cat would be more upset about these social issues than President Obama and the Republicans. And if we turn towards the Wall Street Journal of March 29, 2013, it's clear that Obama's taking an ideological stance that heavily differs from the Republican Party. Because Obama's pushing forward on issues like gun control and immigration because he assumes that Democrats can win. And he's actually furthering the ideological debate to help set the foundation for the 2014 midterm elections. But unfortunately, this is actually harming America and Obama's policy goals. As the New York Times notes on March 31st, 2013, gun legislation is dead in the water, even after the wake of the Newtown shootings. And consequently, Obama's ideological stances on the issue, because of his focus on politics and not good politics, is actually ending up harming his social policy. But additionally, we can turn towards the Center for Policy Analysis on March 21st of 2013, which notes that Obama's policies in immigration have also failed because he simply isn't doing enough to compromise. So what we see here is that Obama, in trying to set the ideological stage for the 2014 elections, isn't compromising enough with Republicans on these ideological and social issues, and consequently, they're not agreeing with him. That's why the Heritage Foundation notes on March 17th of 2013 that Republicans have a major advantage when it comes towards social issues because Obama's <coughs> taken too ideological of a stance and not enough compromise there. So it's clear that Obama's focus on ideological debates in the 2014 midterms will harm his chances of enacting effective social policy in his politics. But in returning towards today's question, President <laughs> Obama's bid to boost Democrats' 2014 midterm prospects keep him from achieving his policy goals, the answer is unfortunately yes. First, because he's diverting resources away from the general debate. Second, because he's actually focusing on bad budgetary discussions. And finally, because his social policy is not very effective. At the end of the day, it's clear that Obama's bad luck Brian when it comes towards politics. <laughs> and in the end, he needs to compromise and focus on politics and not the elections.